Seat Cleaner is the best system cleaner I've come across. It's made by a company called Pureform, and it was formerly known as Crap Cleaner, and that's essentially what it does. It just cleans out all the crap that accrues in your system. You can have things that just leave temp files around. If you have an application that crashes, occasionally those files will be left around, a lot of temp folders and whatnot. So you can get it at Pureform slash CC or C Cleaner. And let's bring up the application so you can uh, see what it looks like. It has, I would say, three main parts. I use it for uh, two of the three. So the first one is the, the cleaner that simply cleans out files in your file system. It frees up a lot of empty space. It has two buttons here, Analyze and Run Cleaner. Analyze will simply go through a check of your entire system to see what it's going to delete. And you can see here there's various applications here within Windows and there's an application tab that has different applications, browsers, and then down here you can clean out all sorts of different applications you may have installed. One thing uh, that a lot of people don't realize is that you can right click on any particular one and then analyze and clean just that individual one. If you just want to clean out something temporarily, I'll typically just run all of them. It empties the recycle bin, cleans out temporary files, and you can even go to advanced and, and remove some other more advanced uh, things. So after you've done the analysis, you can just go over here and say run cleaner. You can see it'll show you how much space will be cleaned up. So here it's 150 meg, which isn't much. I'll often have quite a bit more. Uh, for instance, in the recycle bin, you can have, depending on how often you empty it, you can have uh, huge amounts of files there and you can, that can slow down your machine too, having a full recycle bin, I've found. So the next part is the registry cleaner. Uh, I usually don't use the most uh, or the MUI cache, but you can check that if you want, it doesn't really matter. It has the same idea, you can scan for issue, issues, and then as it finds issues, you can uh, select them over here. So I've also found that it can be in, uh, useful to run the scan issues multiple times. So I will, uh, if you want to be safe, you can back up the registry. I usually don't because I've, I've come to trust CCleaner, but if you're uh, very careful, you probably do want to. So I simply select all issues and then I'll often run it again. Sometimes there are multiple layers of dependencies so when it removes one entry in the registry that is referring to something another one will will be found that's uh, referring to that one of those just removed. In any case this just cleared it out. The other portion of CCleaner is the uninstaller. I use a different application for that called Revo Uninstaller. I'll have a screencast on that later. But then it also has uh, startup programs. I also use Revo and Installer for that. But this is a quick way to see applications you can uninstall. You can see just by clicking on one, you can run in the uninstaller. Uh, you can delete an entry if it's there and it's really not installed. Startup just shows you what applications are set to run on your system when it boots. And uh, that can be useful to find out ways of speeding up your, your uh, system. It also shows you a system restore uh, list of points you can restore from tells you the date so if you have some severe problem and you want to go back to a point in time you can do that and then options I won't really go into detail on these they're fairly uh, fairly straightforward options about how to behave uh, it also shows you all these cookies that you can keep and uh, decide which to remove and whatnot and that is CCleaner in a nutshell use it to clean off your system and and speed it up a little bit